time for Around the Ozarks Rewind, brought to you by Kaleidoscope at the corner of Fremont and Sunshine. Here are your hosts, Woody and Janet. Live from beautiful Springfield, Missouri, it's the Woody and Janet Podcast. A couple of things I want to do first. By the way, this is Woody Peace. No, that's Janet Lane. Yes, the one you heard about. The What'd they hear? Janet Lane. What? Oh, they've heard so many things, Jen. Oh, man. Half of no. them aren't true. You know what? You That's know. true. Huh? That's true. That's like, uh, you know what they're saying? That Reba McIntyre dissed, um, what's her name? Um, Taylor Swift? Huh? Yeah, Taylor Swift. Reba said, McIntyre did? She didn't. That's a rumor. Don't you and George oh, Costanza no. you start know spreading what? it. I wasn't a Reba fan until I started watching The Voice. And I and she seems really sweet. You on there. should watch her show. Like, it's it's as good as I Seinfeld. can't do it. I can't look. I can't. I can't. That Melissa Peters Peterman is amazing. I don't even know who these people are. Is that show even on? Yeah, yeah. You can find it somewhere. I don't know. Hey, you, know, you made it home last week. Okay, the storm. Can you believe it? With a beach ball size hail. Was that last week. Last yeah. week when we left beach here, ball. I hit that storm. It was terrible, but I did the smart thing. I pulled over. I ran into a porta potty. I was fine. Was I'm that not bad, sure huh? that's it all that, that smart on a hurricane. A porta potty? <laughs> what? A porta potty. Well, it looks like a storm shelter. Uh, I don't like. You know, I was you, fine. Hey, yes. speaking of porta potties, this mm. this brought back a thought to me that you said there was going to be a new monk episode yes a new monk it's a bat. I remember when he went into a porta potty thinking it was a phone booth oh it just totally freaked the poor guy out but Ooh. but uh, yeah i know but there's no new monk show yeah I, there I, is where netflix i believe yeah i think she's correct mm-hmm. brand new oh, you think she wait. <laughs> i think soggy bottoms gets a different set of channels out i there. think so windy <laughs> bottoms okay you today, need to adjust your rabbit ears today i saw uh, a seabird of some kind, uh, uh, a gull, no, not a gull, a uh, uh, seagull, albatross, a goose, albatross, a goose, flying over windy bottoms. Really, by be. himself. Good sign. A this poem goose. came to me. Are you ready? I'm ready. There is a power whose care teaches thy way along the pathless coast, the desert and illimitable air, lone wandering but not lost. All day thy wings have fanned that far height, the cold, thin atmosphere. Yet stoop not weary to the welcome land, though the dark night be near, and soon that toil shall end. Soon shalt thou rest, and scream among thy fellows among thy sheltered nest. Thou art gone. The abyss of heaven hath swallowed up thy form, and yet on my heart deeply hath sunk the lesson thou hast given. Zone to zone guides through the boundless sky thy certain flight. One goose will in the long way that I must tread alone lead my steps aright. You must tread you, alone. You, that was inspired that, that by one so goose. Do, yeah, one yeah, goose. I'm glad it wasn't a you flock. You couldn't help yourself, could you? No, I could. You had to. No, I didn't I, sabotage I want in on his poem. it. No, I don't. I don't. I thought it was really deep. <laughs> William Cullen really Bryant deep. wrote that when he but was I, 17. One goose inspired yeah. that. Two quick things that I want to say, and then I'll let you go. Let me One, go. John Stewart <laughs> Where are we going? Where are we going? Has lost his fastball. John Stewart's lost his fastball, mm-hmm. has he? I, I, I noticed it. I mm-hmm. noticed it. It's like, oh, the same sizzle is not there. I gotcha, I gotcha. Hey, also, we, coming up, oh, April 6th. What's April 6th? Uh, uh, an eclipse of the sun. <gasps> oh, you got to get oh, the right glasses. The Huh? I thought you cut cardboard. You put a hole in a cardboard and you look at it. No, that'll hurt no, you. That'll hurt okay. you. Never okay to explain. And the one, the glasses that they're selling at most places are not good either. You got to go from a reputable eclipse glass place. I <laughs> like saw that. I, I saw <laughs> yeah, it on the. I saw it on the news for for real. Get your equi- hey. uh, eclipse equipment at Kaleidoscope. Will you do me a favor? Huh? I was. I've been telling people. What it what it means when you're talking and you run out of air, mm-hmm. and I can't do it. Oh, you think I, I do that? No, <laughs> you could do it on call, and can, it's really funny to me. What do you mean, do it on call? Well, you just when I say, "Will you run out of air?" You always do it. It's, it's really easy. Let most of the air out of your lungs and then start talking. You'll run out of air. Dear Wayne Jazz, 
I can't ah, see him. Did see? I do it? You Something do like it much it. better. He does it much better. By the way, I did prove to Janet that when you post something on Facebook, no, you didn't. can share it with a friend. He did not prove You can't. I did prove it. it. Goes All to you message. have to do is hit the share button, and then it says, who do you want to share it with? The public or, this, you know, blah, 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 or a friend. You click on friend, and it says, what friend? And you type in Janet Lane. You must have tagged me in the photo. I did not tag. You had to. Nope, nope, nope. You just can't stand to be wrong. I'll take you to court over this. Okay. Let's go. You seem to like to go to court. Aren't you in trouble down in Let's go. I so Booger County or where is it? You you get Itchy Brad bottoms. Bradshaw on your side. I, I know Brad. I'll get Aaron Sachs. Okay, I don't know and Brad. We'll kick your booty. I so, boy, wouldn't that be something? Maybe like Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. I am ready. Hey, when, they, when is that fight? I don't know, but I'm afraid Jake's going to die. It's going to oh, be on Netflix. I, can't I think wait. Jake's going to die. I, I don't think he even knows what he's. I don't know. Have I you seen wait. them training? Yes. Tyson's like yeah. just an well, animal. And it. Jake Tyson's, Paul's Tyson's just still going. got it. Tyson's still got it. He's built like he was when he was. Jake Very Paul's few age. of us can maintain that sort of. My hat's off and I to do you. It without even trying. I it's lay in ama- bed all day. You know what? You're blessed, though. I'm blessed. I, some people have to really work at it, like myself. I'll gain five I, pounds like that, just then, at but it. then I can lose it fast. But still, but you, you just you hang on to that eight pack like nobody's well, today business. Today we have, and you can choose, or you can start on something of your own. Uh, imagine you're on a first date. What uh, w- what's something that a, a person could wear that would make you not want to like that would turn you off on a first date? Ariat boots. Also, if you were what? Ariat boots. Ariat boots. Like blue ones or red ones with the square toe. Right, oh. Big square toe. Okay, thing. we'll get to that. Okay. Also, if you were born in 1974, mm-hmm. I've got ten random things that are the same age as you. Fifty years old. Ten mm-hmm. things. And really, seventy four makes you fifty. That's right. That and uh, very sad. The inventor of karaoke is dead. No, who's he? He, he was a, Mr. He's a Jap- karaoke? Japanese fella. Mr. Oh. Karaoke. His name was um, oh. Shigichi Nagashi. No, 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 hon. That's Shigachi Nagashi. Oh, Shigachi Nagashi. Hi. He lived to be a hundred years old. He never trademarked it. Re- oh, he didn't no? get a patent on it. So, he didn't care. He was happy to make people sing. happy all over the world. Wow. And he, have, was he a the, karaoke singer? Uh, I don't know. He must have been. <laughs> Man, and I we was... we have the top uh, karaoke songs for people who can't sing. Oh, give them to me. I was in a karaoke place not long ago, and I was almost, I was this close to getting up there. Because yeah, everybody, didn't. I, yeah. I couldn't do it. You know... There was a Couldn't movie do where, it. Um, who sang Happy to Be Stuck with You? Uh, uh, Huey Lewis. Huey Lewis. Yes. He was in a movie where some guy was thought he was cool singing karaoke, and he yeah. sat next to the bar, and sat next to uh, Huey Lewis. Oh, my. And Huey he Lewis could says, sing. there's no big deal. He goes, oh, I suppose you can do better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he got up there and sang, oh, and of course geez. he killed yes. the place. He and, did, uh, he's good. I Have you ever done it? Karaoke? Yeah. Yeah, I used to run it in L- in L.A. and Hollywood. Cause wow. Was, yeah, I used to. I've have, never done it. I'm like you, Jim. I can't do it. You can sing. Why wouldn't you, you do it, Woody? You can sing, too. I, I have heard you sing, and don't say that. Oh, man. But I was sitting there watching other people I, thinking, I could do at least you know what? that. What? Ow! Oh. God, really? Really? You better bleep that out. No, I think oh. not I don't think that's acceptable like these that. days. No, I had not. to smack her, folks. Oh, right on the booty. It's on tape, too. <laughs> on the booty. Next thing, you the cops are going to show up at Soggy Bottoms. <laughs> okay, what do you got, Jay? Oh, uh, well, I have you a letter. You want Jay, right? <laughs> well, I, no, I, I have a letter about Jay, okay. and okay. I, but no, I we, saw... We, she came out to her first show this past weekend of mine. I was blown away. Yeah, that's what you told I, me. I walked in, and I couldn't... It was so crowded, you can't see hardly up on the stage from he way back. the house packs the house and then i heard him singing and uh-huh. i was like wow that is that's good on point yeah it was it was it was great i i get it i little, get the a whole little pitchy here and there no 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 no, no. 
The band was great. I mean, the whole vibe is just. Do you yeah, play an instrument at all with your great. band? Yes, yeah, some a couple songs I'll play guitar, but mostly just uh-huh. singing. But yeah, she did really good. Janet jockeyed her way through all mm. the young girls and got right up in front for a little bit. I heard a couple of people. I'm you sure you pushed your way through oh, swooning girls. Yes, I did. And she, uh, I she, waited until they she got a little crazy, like how the girls get a little crazy. I went really crazy. Mm-hmm. Good for oh, you. Oh, in front of people that good for I hadn't you. seen. But it. she gained a podcast listener. <laughs> <laughs> she talked to Good. my girlfriend at the bar. Good for and you. And talked about we that we talk about her on the podcast, and she was and like, "What podcast?" She had knew nothing about it. Oh. And Wait so a minute. now, Wait a minute, your girlfriend didn't know anything about the podcast. Nothing about this podcast. Well, you're not really promoting the show that much, are you? Well, they's okay. Well, they're I tell her, her, but she, I do so many things. It goes in one ear out the other. She's very, really, really sweet. But well, now she's a fan. Her. She she's a subscriber. And she went back and listened to all the previous episodes. And oh, you would, you can't meet there? her. Huh? You'd be, you'd just be. I'd be gaga. Speechless, yes. I've seen you like that. You'd be speechless. I was kind of speechless. I like attractive women. I know you do, honey. Could you date somebody who wasn't physically attractive but still had charisma? Could Other I? than Mike Solomon. Oh, oh, he listens. You know, he played for the Chiefs. Oh, I, just, I'm sure. I just asked you a simple question. Oh, my gosh. And I remember one day he pulled out his helmet and stuff and was showing me all his, I don't know, it wasn't great. But anyway, I mean, he was a really nice person. Did Why you did br- you say his name? Did I you bring some? Where is he now? I don't know. Here? I don't they know that. They meet Janet and they disappear. They go, <laughs> they run. They, move they go into another, seclusion. They to go another in, world. What is it when you get us? Did fake? you bring some show prep or not? Yes, I have a letter, well, and I have early signs of dementia. Daylights are burning. And you know what else? I have uh, ten signs that you'll be a good mother for you know young what? women. Early signs of dementia. I heard this one yesterday. This has to do with the speech. trouble swallowing. Really? This is before that. Okay. <laughs> one of the early early signs. I can just say that real quick. All right. People think it's when you forget words, like, oh, have you seen my, uh, whatchamacallit? Mm-hmm. That's not a sign. It's the rapidness of your speech. If you if you if if your speech slows down, if you notice it slowing down, mm-hmm. that's an early sign. I have a, an exercise for that. I used to teach all disc jockeys mm-hmm. every day, get it, grab a newspaper, mm-hmm. and read it. As fast as you can, clearly enunciating. You never told me that. Mm, oh, I'm sure I did. No. But it really helps. You could have really helped me. I could have been somebody. I hate slow talking, disjunctive. I hate, you know, who's that girl that comes on after? <laughs> Here we go. What's her name? Who, what? Yeah. Oh, um, no. Laura. Is that her name, Laura? On what? No, she's on, on TV she's, a, she's on national radio. You Laura said you Laura Ingram? No. Laura. She's smart. I like Dana Lash. Laura. Dana Lash, that's who I'm talking about. Dana Lash doesn't talk slow. She is slow. No, she talks fast and doesn't, it kind of like gets Biden-ish. Ooh, she, oh, does, well. she does talk fast. I'll give anyway, her Anyway, poor, what are, what are they going to do about uh, Donald Trump? He's got to pay. He can't, nobody can do that. You can't come up with that kind of money. Huh? He, he could eat. Half a what, billion? What, have till Monday? Woody would have to sell his Apple stock to, make, yeah. to pull oh, it off. Yeah, you could probably do yeah, it. Yeah, you could probably bankroll it. And they're suing Apple, too. They don't like Apple anymore. Oh, no. You know why? Because Apple won't let other people jump into their game. Oh. They say it's for security's sake and for mm-hmm. safety's sake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, I, and they've always been their own world. Mm-hmm. Come on. Can, they, can you break into an Apple phone in, into their security? It's called jailbreaking. <laughs> but you can it do is. it. You can do it. it some, what yeah. about if you get this thing that I saw? It's a device called Faraday. Faraday. Yeah. yeah. It's Faraday. like a bag that you put your phone in. You can put your computer in and it goes off the grid. Nobody can track it. I'm surprised you don't have one. You seem kind of an off the grid kind of guy. No, I just have leave you heard my of phone it? in the truck. And, oh, have you heard of that, though? The Faraday? Faraday is a, is a well-known name for different things, I think. Oh. He was a famous electric guy, wasn't he? Faraday. I'm not sure about that. I don't know about that. Well, do you want the letter? <laughs> this is really S- simple. Someday. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. And then we can talk about circumcision, if you want to. Whoa. Your letter's about circumcision? No. You know, I've no. been thinking about it. Getting it? Yeah. 
<laughs> you just had back you surgery. Like, you could have got a two for one. You were in the hospital. You should have just you, told him. Uh, would you like me more? Uh, maybe. I, uh, yeah. I mean, no. No, actually, no. I. You well, n- no. I don't. I you, like you. You couldn't like me more, could you? I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> this is awkward. I don't know if that's good or it's bad. Really? <laughs> don't go. Don't go cutting stuff. Don't leave here and go, you know. Okay. <sighs> Dear Witty, Janet, and Jay. At I'm last. Cu- I'm curious. I'm curious to know Jay's diet. I used to bodybuild, but I haven't trained like that in years. Mm-hmm. I need to change my diet, however, and I think we are about the same size. Hmm. All right, uh, Jay, can we start with uh, breakfast? First, uh, first thing uh, Pro- on your menu to eat Protein. during the day. Protein shake. Oh, that's a where I'm going. Protein shake. I start out with vodka. I yeah, I've been warning you about that. What? I start off with oatmeal and a protein shake. Okay, very good. Uh, with a, with low sugar. Oh yeah. It's that's called good. glucerna. Okay, protein shake morning. And then you got a midday or an a- midday uh, one o'clock ish. A little bit of meat and vegetables or chicken. Okay, and vegetables. so uh, no uh, sugar, no no con- sugar, no carbs. No sugar. Oh, no you don't carbs. do carbs. I saw you eating a very little carbs. Cup of so meatballs. No yep. bread. Yeah, no bread. Potatoes are good for you. Yeah. What about and rice? Carbs, so no. Very uh, rarely. And oh. what? And where do you think you get most of your fiber from? The vegetables, I guess. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Salad. Eat a lot of salads and vegetables. Good, mm. good, good, mm-hmm. good. And then same thing for dinner. And then fast. you don't eat any carbs at all. I try not to. Sometimes, but I try not to. Well, I can't think without carbs. <laughs> yeah. Well, you might try some a baked potato on your way in next week. Huh? Never mind. <laughs> we'll, we'll stop for lunch and get a... Uh, rice? Get a rice? Get some rice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you have? Okay. Um, Whoopee? Uh, uh, um... um uh, there are people who let their email stack up. Uh, guilty. It says I'm terrible. Here that can make you unhappy. Ter- uh, I can't. It's overwhelming. Responsible adults get their email down to zero every day. Well, that explains the reason. I do that. Do, do you? you? Yep. Yep. See, I've got a couple of hundred in there. Uh, I, I think I got you beat. Let's <laughs> see. Inbox. People who let emails build up are awful people. Use their. Um, uh, let's see. Inbox, Mine says like to do list. What does that say right there? That says uh, eighteen thousand seventeen thousand no seven hundred seventy three. You don't believe that's it? what is seventeen thousand seven hundred thirty three unread emails. Mm-hmm. Well, no, unerased emails. You may have read them and just no. let them. It says up at the top left. She's unread very pop- seventeen thousand something unread. She's very popular. I oh, yeah. Holy well, cow. I bet there's several. I bet a job I bet a offers dozen and of those stuff are in mine. There? Really? Job no. offers coming I, over the job Ni- offers. Nigerian over. princes trying to give you money. Man, oh. I need to get on there. You want I to just, hear the things that are 50 years old or the things you shouldn't wear on a first date? Things you shouldn't wear on a first date. All right. Because I'm sure I'm guilty of it. A full track suit. <laughs> Those the are back flag. in. They're back in. Okay. Even velour. Okay. Yeah, so you're good, Woodrow. A full designer outfit. Oh. What is that? Like where it says Chanel on the shirt well, that's everywhere. Down here, uh, I don't that's like down that. here. Anything with a huge logo on it. Yeah, I don't. The Real Housewives do that all. Crocs. Uh, they're back too. Jen, this is brand new. I'm sorry, but stuff. they are. Okay. Oversized sunglasses, especially yeah. at night, of course. Mm. I wear my sun. I had, though, a great big pair, Jackie Onassis-looking things. I loved them, and they were prescription, and I left them in the bathroom at the mall. By the entrance, the main entrance, that yeah. bathroom? Yeah, I went to the bathroom. I set them on the little, uh, where you put the stuff. Have you gone stuff. back to look yeah. for them? I got outside, which the door's right there by that little breezeway. I... Was only out of the bathroom less than five minutes. As soon as I hit the sun, I realized, oh, I better go get my glasses. Mm. Gone. That happened to me once with a very expensive camera. Really? At the mall in the bathroom? No, at an airport. 
Uh, a shirt that's way too tight. Oh, now you like Hey, now, hey, now, hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Jan are both guilty of that one. Hey, what? Do you see? Look how loose this is. I was trying to redeem myself from Friday. <laughs> Ankle socks with sneakers. You know who turned me off? Who? My Dr. Oshetsky, the guy that did the surgery on my back. Mm-hmm. He had ankle socks on? And ankle socks. He did? I said, I don't know how you stand that. And you let him cut your back? Well, was he wearing was, that we when he did it? We were pretty far down the path. Ah. But I think it's healing up good. You, you're, you're walking great. Yeah. I think. Ripped skinny jeans. Up, oh, guilty. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I wear that. I wear those. Man purse. I don't mind that. I think that the they sell some at normal brand that are cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll get you one. How about no, that? No, thank you. You told me you were going to get me that uh, Apple head thing, but... The what? The Apple game thing for... Oh, the Remember Vision Remember he said Pro. that. The Vision on, Pro. It's right. On the, he was supposed to bring it in here like two months ago. And That's, then he said he'd buy us one, but we knew that was just surgery talk. <laughs> It was the drugs talking. Yeah. You were taking drugs before you had your surgery. Camo. What? <laughs> Camo's bad, too, for camo. girls. Camo. Well, you made fun of me last week for wearing camo. Well, because that was fake camo. A vest with overly large armholes. Oh, yeah. That's Whoa. weird. That's weird looking. You know what? Your, your camo was like backwards. That's why I was laughing I was at it. You know it how camo is supposed to make you look like the foliage in the forest yes yes the camo you had on made you look like everything that wasn't the foliage in the forest like the light and the sun the you're sun. just you're just a mean person because i am not a mean person i could go hide in the forest with my camo right out in the <laughs> and open and like, you would not see me oh right be I, like there I he happen is. to have a forest on my property you want me to come find you he won't tell us yeah. where Where's Waldo? Where's Woody? Yeah. I will find you like that. And finally, that. a band logo t-shirt. Oh, those are cool. Come oh, on those now. are cool. Unless it's oh. Machine Gun Symphony. That's true. That's true. Then it's true. Anyway. Do you guys sell t-shirts? Yep. Did I buy one? No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. You put your money elsewhere <laughs> that night. Okay, how much time? Wait, do we have time for two more uh, topics? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... The guy who invented the karaoke machine. Yes. And his name uh, is... Um, Glad we have an authentic interpreter go? here. Shagahashi Nagishi. Shagahashi Nagishi. Mm, don't do it. He lived to be 100 years old. Most of them do. All that karaoke singing. And rice. He invented the karaoke machine in 1967 after one of his employees made fun of his singing voice. Oh, now see. It was originally called the Sparko Box. He That's never silly. patented his invention, but his daughter says he that never bothered him. He felt a lot of people, he felt a lot of people, a lot of pride mm-hmm. in seeing his idea evolve into a culture of having fun throughout the world. No doubt. You know what? Here's what here I will do this. RIP. If if you will go with me to a karaoke bar and sing, I I will sing. Let's All right. go. Let's go. Field I'll trip. Go. No, field he trip. can't field go. Trip. He's a field singer. Trip. Field He's trip. A... You know, I used, what is a singer too? What do you I used to be now a singer. Uh, well, you still in are in a rock and roll band, like okay. five different rock and roll bands. Well, I'll, I will do it if you guys if you do it. You know, but I'm not my, telling you everybody know, when. Or, was what was it? Think I've got to have a change of scene. Every night I have the same old dream, envisioned by the way things might have been. Who's that? Feeling all right. Oh, oh Joe Cocker. Nice. Not feeling too good myself. It was actually Rare Earth first. Oh, that's Remember not a Joe Rare Cocker? Earth? Yes, I do. Yeah, Joe Cocker did it. I loved Cocker. That version. was just terrible what I just did. No, it wasn't. Okay, so uh, the top 10, I don't agree with this list. Okay. The top 10 karaoke songs for people who can't sing. Mm-hmm. Number one, I kind of agree with, Sweet Caroline. Oh, da, 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 yeah, I think I heard da, 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 that at the bar. Easy one. one. Oh, huh? you know what? What? The people that, that frequent karaoke, they have ba, their, ba, ba, their yeah. one, and they get up there, and they, oh, it just... 
Yeah, it's living on watch. prayer. Yeah, Bon Jovi, one of the greatest songs ever. <laughs> Don't stop believing. That oh. was just that was just voted the biggest song of all time. Really? Yep. Bigger than Hotel biggest California. song of all time. Yeah, not biggest. just karaoke. Journey just, just recently got the award from the recording industry. But they never biggest had a top song ten of hit. All time. Don't stop believing. But it did right. They never had a top never ten hit on the chart. Album. I think it's White album. Christmas. Oh no. no, really? What's well, been White Christmas all my life? Nobody's there's singing a, White Christmas. There's a gentleman in town that Here's goes the one to you karaoke do. and does Journey. Do you remember our old boss used to call him the Journey guy? <laughs> Every and he Who films it, it and puts name? it on. I can't do it. Come Is he on. good? Is he good? Let's just call him Rob. Okay, Rob with a no. Rob H. Rob H. Not ringing the bell. Here's one you could do. Love, <laughs> Love Shack. I can't do that. Yeah, I can't. Wanna I'm be? Telling, it's got to be uh, a. Tell me what you want. What you really want? Look at Woody. Nice. I might be able to do that. It's got it, it just can't have a lot of uh Dancing Queen. Now wouldn't Dancing dance. Queen have to have the harmonies built into the karaoke Probably. the track built in, yeah. yeah. I will survive. Ooh. Ooh, I'd like to sing that just cuz I think that one you got to be able to sing. Uh, yeah, I, I do can't. too. That'd be and, a rough one right and there. And Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh. Ooh. That tough would one. not be one to start That's out. It's got with. a lot of parts. Yeah, it's a wow. Drunk, it's tough to remember those parts. Just remember that when you go to sing karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> and what do I they saw. say? Caramuse, caramuse. What is it? What is it? Bum, bum. I thought it was starting Fandango, with me. thunderbolt, and lightning. Very, very frightening. Mamma mia. Gosh. Go, Mamma oh, mia. Go, let me go. Let me go. 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 Oh. Go. Wow. Summer of like six- I'm in the car with Queen. Queen with Queen. Summer of '69. Love it. Brian Adams. My year. I think I could do that song, maybe. And it says here, Just the Way You Are by Bruno Mars, but I'm pretty sure that was Ooh, Billy that's, Joel. That's a hard one to sing there. Don't go change it. No, just wrong, the, no, no. wrong, just the way you are. Oh. I don't think that's the name of it. Is it by Bruno? It's about him. You're beautiful, just the way you are. You're beautiful. I yes. Think that's, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's Bruno, a hard one to, that one's a hard great. one to sing, I would think, if you're a think. non-singer. Boy, Bruno can sing. Try to please me. One more thing here, and then we got to wrap her up, ladies and gentlemen, Perfect. boys and girls. If you were born in 1974, mm-hmm. you're 50 years old this year. Man, my, my, something's wrong with my concept of time. Well, I know. The club. It gets worse and worse as you grow older. Really? Yes. It's. It, I have always been that baffling. way. Like High school doesn't seem that far away to me as it is number one actually. post-it notes i forget to remember things uh yeah like every week when i'm i i think i got to remember to do, bring that up at the podcast and then you forget to remember i it. forget to remember to do that until i'm driving home well write it on a post-it note i love post-it notes but, but i'm always years old. every time i write on a post-it note and i try to slam it on something i got the sticky side face in me and it falls off he invented it to uh keep track of his hymnal in church who did the guy that invented post-it notes oh, oh, in 1968 oh. i don't think they're as sticky as they used to be the root wait 19 glue in the, oh it was from a glue and okay never mind mm-hmm. the rubik's cube 50 years wow. old now 50 years old and i still can't do it i can't either there's I people that either. Yeah. do it so fast number three barcodes they still huh? blow my mind. Ooh, and my now mind. these are th- these other codes with the squiggly things, what do they call them? QR codes. QR codes, yeah. What in the world? Do you huh? do self-checkout? Uh, sometimes, but I haven't since my surgery. Did you hear that Walmart's not going to let you do self-checkout if you have over 10 items or something? That's going to cause some problems. Not really. I think so. They know what they're doing. That is a well run machine yeah well oiled is it Bailey's well oiled? irish cream never had it i've had it started came on the market in 1974 the heimlich maneuver remember when we Gosh. first started hearing yep. about that yes so yeah. before 74 people were choking yeah they were they let them everybody die. just let sat them there going i don't well, know we don't know what, what do, do we do what do we do <laughs> wow then hit mr him. heimlich said grab him grab and him and hit him on the back of the head <laughs> Didn't I, didn't I save you once? Oh, probably several times. I thought you had something lodged in your throat. Yeah, was I don't it a meat? Well. I think it was a meatball. Was it a meatball? I think it was a meatball. 
the kind in the can, the little ones, oh, the mushy uh, ones. Yeah, uh, the little Chef by RD chef, meatballs. Yes, I believe it was. <laughs> it hit them so hard. And those things are sticky. Dungeons and Dragons. What? Ooh, nice. 50 years old. I never played that. Nor have I. I heard it was evil. I used to play it. Is it evil? Connect Four. Oh, yeah, that's like checkers straight up. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Milton Bradley. I played with a great Bay ones before. Howard Wexler wanted to create a, a board game that was played vertically. Hmm. Huh? Skittles. Oh. 50 years old. I didn't realize they were that old. Invented in the UK in 1974. Didn't oh. hit shelves in the US till 1979. I'm not a huge fan. Are you? Ooh, I, I don't wouldn't. think so. I'm thinking if a meatball's going to get lodged in there. You must have but a very I see, I still small. Have my tonsils. Well, that's Trying why to you're catch choking. You on your tonsils and Let me leave see. it left and open, right. Open, open. Let me see. Open. It. Wow, wow. You need those out. You should have done that with Are your they back. Are they swollen? They're they're just. My huge. doctor told me you don't have tonsils anymore. When you get old, you don't have tonsils. They're anymore. laying on your tongue forward. That's my uvula. <laughs> or is it? A, <laughs> Hopefully, is it, it is I, not. I hope not. Isn't is it? it? <laughs> I think it is. And finally, meow the meow, meow mix jingle. <gasps> what? Meow 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 meow. You go from you feel it to cats. Hmm. Is it? Is it? <laughs> I know you you lose a body part, but it's a body part. I, I thought it was in my throat. Woody Dolores. is correct. It is you Vula. Is I it? Oh, it what are we thinking of? Uh, we were thinking of her. Something I thought, else. <laughs> I thought I had one. We thought but he's the only else. one here with yeah, one. We, we both thought of something else. What, what, what were we you thinking of? people, I don't know. <laughs> well, hey, thank your sponsors, uh, Kaleidoscope. Like thank our sponsors, Chuck and Judy. No, for... no, no, no. Tom and Pam. I thought Tom the surgery corrected that. I went to That's their what party. I said. Tom and yeah, it Pam. was Tom's 80th birthday party last yes. week. Yes. It was fun. Birthday, Tom. It thank was fun. Thank you for sponsoring our show and thank you for your marvelous. Store, you know, most stores don't last very long. That's right, and I, and they carry things there that they don't carry other places. Because I went you to look for something. There are things in there you can't buy anywhere else in Southwest Missouri. Well, I because of where I was, I went to this other place to get something, and they didn't have it, the right stuff. So I had to go to Kaleidoscope. So they have, and they've been here for over fifty years. Yes. They have They've just been like here for, isn't that amazing? 1970. Tom and Pam, thank you so much. It's an amazing store located at Sunshine in Fremont. Sunshine in Fremont. My name is Woody P. Snow. Thank you, Jay Stevens. Thank you. Everybody. Thanks, Jay. See ya. This is Janet Lane and This has been Around the Ozarks Rewind with Woody and Janet. If you have questions or topics for the show, email Woody and Janet at AroundTheOzarks.com.